Atomic physics is the field of physics studying atoms as an atomic nucleus and a system of electrons. It mainly deals with the way electrons are arranged around the atomic nucleus and how they change. It further includes an atom's energy state and how it interacts with outside particles and electromagnetic fields. Atomic physics is one of the most successful applications of quantum mechanics. Atomic theory goes back to the ancient Greek philosophers Eusipitus of Miletus and Democritus of Thrace in about 440 BC. The atomicist school of ancient Greek philosophers proposed the idea that matter is made of very small, indivisible, and indestructible atoms. These atoms were seen as being in continual motion through a surrounding void and colliding with each other like billiard balls. The void between the atoms resulted in questions that the atomists could not answer. This caused the idea of the atom to be rejected by Aristotle in favor of a continuous matter idea. The atom was not seen again for 400 years when the Roman poet Lucretius wrote about it. In 1687, Sir Isaac Newton showed that Foley's law, the principle that at a constant temperature, the product of a gas's volume and pressure is constant, fits with the idea that a gas is made up of particles. In 1808, John Dalton suggested that the atoms of each element were identical. And in 1811, Imidu Avogadro suggested that each element's particles may be two or more atoms stuck together in what he called molecules. Next, during the 19th century, came the theory that there were a finite number of elements, each made up of a different type of atom. With nearly infinite ways that these atoms can be combined to form chemical compounds, leading to the kinetic theory of gases that shows that pressure and viscosity result from the motion of atoms and molecules. At this time, the accepted atomic model was one known as the Plum Pudding Model, proposed by Joseph John Thompson. This model has negatively charged electrons embedded in a relatively large, positively charged mass. The Rutherford Gold Foil experiment was first suggested by Ernest Rutherford and conducted in 1911 by Hans Geigner and Ernest Marsden. The experiment involved shooting out the particles at a gold foil to observe how they were scattered by the gold on a screen. The gold foil experiment probed the structure of the atom because if it were a solid mass, few if any alpha particles would get through. If, as they expected, the atom consisted of negative electrons that were embedded in a thin positive mass, all of the alpha particles would get through. However, what they found was that most of the alpha particles get through, with some of them being scattered by the small positive nucleus. Rutherford proposed that, that the atom is mostly empty space, consisting of a small positive nucleus surrounded by electrons scattered throughout the surrounding space. This led to the planetary model of the atom. In such a model, the electrons cannot stand still, because if they did, they would fall into the nucleus. This led to modeling the atom as a solar system with electrons orbiting the nucleus like planets around a star. The planetary model of the atom led to the quantum atomic model. In fact, the planetary model's problems helped lead to the development of quantum mechanics, and it is still used to illustrate the atom. The problem with the planetary model is that it has a major flaw. The problem with the planetary model is that electrons are charged particles, and an accelerating charge emits light, losing energy. This would cause the electron to spiral into the nucleus. This led to the Bohr atomic model. Bragg had shown earlier that particles such as electrons have wave-like properties. Bohr then showed that these waves could be bent into orbit like those expected for an electron. Bohr further showed that electrons can only occupy those orbits with exactly a whole number of wavelengths. In these orbits, the waves are added together with constructive interference. A fractional number of wavelengths would destructively interfere and not persist when an electron cannot occupy such an orbit. The result is that electrons jump from orbit to orbit, with photons emitted when going to a lower orbit and photons being absorbed when going to a higher orbit. It turns out that the transitions between the possible electron orbits match the spectral lines actually observed in the hydrogen. This was a major step in the development of quantum mechanics. Further developments have come from studying elements other than hydrogen, including the effects of multiple electrons. These studies resulted in the electron orbitals shown here. They are the places in an atom where electrons can actually be found. The shapes of these orbitals were originally found mathematically. They have long been viewed as purely mathematical abstractions.
The orbitals were never expected to be seen. Physics students had long been told this. However, field emission electron microscopy has changed this. Here is a mathematically generated S orbital image. Here is a field emission electron microscopy S orbital image. Here is a mathematically generated P orbital image. Here is a field emission electron microscopy P orbital image. The imaging of actual electron orbitals was a surprise, but it visibly shows the accuracy of the quantum atomic model and the quantum mechanics as a whole. An electron configuration is the distribution of electrons in an atom or molecule in terms of atomic and molecular orbital. Here is an example of some electron configurations. Atomic spectra are the emission and absorption lines of each element and compound. They result from electrons changing atomic or molecular orbital. They are fully explained by the quantum atomic model. In conclusion, atomic physics studies that. It deals mainly with the electrons around the atomic nucleus. It also deals with how electrons are arranged and how those arrangements change. Our understanding of the atom took over 2,000 years to develop. However, that understanding has provided many benefits.